Professor Vivek Madala, uh, congratulations that you're nominated for your uh, American Revolutionary score, right? Thank you. Um, so, what was your process for this film? I mean, I mean what was what were you trying to pull out of this film? Where were you looking for inspiration for it? The film really um, was the source of the inspiration for me. Uh, the subjects and the ideas discussed in the film are are quite rich, and were a good resource for musical ideas and, and dramatic expression. Um, the film takes place over a rough hundred year period and so I was able to draw from uh, cultural and, and philosophical things that have come out over that over the past century um, and uh, yeah it was, it was a lot of fun it, it this, the music ranges from you know late 19th century romanticism through uh, the jazz era um, and 50s jazz and and uh, the Motown era it's it's centered in Detroit and uh, even even into modern hip-hop and and post post <laughs> rock. And so as a composer, I mean, when you're working on a documentary, do you find yourself becoming really kind of emotionally involved more so than you would maybe on a fictional film? Do you find yourself really going on these on these people's lives journey? I mean, you're kind of with them for that journey. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I get more involved, but it's, uh -huh. it's you know, all, all films are different. Right. And uh, every one, I feel like I, I just, I, in order to be able to write from an emotionally honest place, I think you have to live inside the film. Right. And and really, um, uh, you know, ex experience what the, the people in the film are experiencing as much as I'm able to. Uh, and that's, I think, for me, that's how I'm able to express the situations they're experiencing and, and how the audience should be affected by those by those characters right. and the revolution. So would you say that your music your music is kind of reacting, kind of like an, as an audience would react, kind of your reaction to it? it? The music does react to the film, but it also affects the film. Right. So in some cases, uh, you know, maybe the director wants to impart a sense of urgency that's not there. Right. And that's something the music can do. Or, you know, maybe a particular character, an antagonist in the film, we need to experience them more sympathetically. Right. And so the music can affect the drama in that way as well. So it's, it's, it's a bi-directional flow of information. Yeah. I'm, I'm being affected by the film, and right. I'm also affecting the film. Well, I know it's been a long journey for, for this film, and it's really great that you're getting the recognition and everything. Because I remember we yeah. talked about it, and that was a while ago, so... Yeah. Now you're here celebrating it, and that's a uh, congratulations, Zach. It's been thank you. Thank you for talking. Yeah, of course.